One, liquid is spilling out of city of Charleston garbage trucks, lots of it, and all over town. Two, the samples we took showed shockingly high E. coli levels, the kind of numbers you'd see in raw sewage. And three, it's so dangerous, even after it dries, the Kanawha Charleston Health Department calls it a potential public health hazard. Tonight, 13 News reporter David Iverson tries to figure out why government regulations don't seem to apply. Seeing the video, of course, is it causes concern. Delegate Misha Poor represents West Virginia's 31st district in the state legislature. She was alarmed by the results of our investigation. We need to make sure that we're not putting extra uh, uh, deadly bacteria in our environment and harming our kids, our animals, and our workers. You might think a state watchdog agency like the Department of Environmental Protection would want to know that Charleston Public Works Department routinely leaves plugs out of trucks allowing contaminated ooze to spill on the street, but you'd be wrong. Listen to DEP spokeswoman Kathy Costco's explanation. It's that gray area. You know, the Public Service Commission regulates the haulers themselves, the trucks, the service that they provide, and we regulate the end result. And there's that little bit there in the middle that, that doesn't have a law written specifically for it. It's that little bit in the middle there that has the Charleston Canal Health Department Environmental Health Director Anita Ray concerned. It is a potential public health hazard because of, of just what I said previously. It, You've got fecal coliform um, in large amounts in this liquid. Delegate Poor wants to give the city a chance to literally clean up its act before talking about a state regulatory solution. I think we have a responsibility to allow our city, our local officials, to try to cure the problem before we begin to regulate it here in Charleston. As it turns out, the Charleston City Code does address this kind of thing, laying the responsibility of keeping the streets free of pollution squarely at the council's doorstep. The chair of the city's environmental committee assured us today this issue will be addressed at the panel's next meeting. Live and local in Charleston, David Iverson, 13 News.